Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelocks, and welcome to Zero Time Dilemma. That's right, it's finally happening. We're completing the Zero Escape Trilogy. If you're new to the channel, you can go back and watch my 999 and Virtue Slash Reward playthroughs. I completed them 100%, had a great time doing it, and uh, it's going to be awesome to see how this ends up. I'm very, very, very curious. Um, those other two games really impressed me, and... I kind of heard that this one isn't maybe as good as the other ones, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm going to enjoy it anyways. I love all the twists and turns and the craziness and the figuring stuff out and the speculation and all that stuff. Um, please do not spoil anything in the comment section. Um, if I see anything that seems spoilery, I'm not going to read it and I'm just going to block you. So just be aware. And I really don't want to have to close down the comment section. Um, you can also uh, find me on Discord. There's a link down below if you want to chat in the Discord channel there. Without further ado, let's begin Zero Time Dilemma, everybody. I'm so excited! Let's go! Coincide. Nevada Desert Decal. Hey, open up! 1231-2028. Who would do this? Shit. What's wrong with you? Of course. <laughs> Someone's one night mistake. A mistake? <laughs> Maybe Diana's. This isn't the time for jokes. Let me guess. That helmet can't come off, can it? Wait, five? So creepy. I don't want it near me. Where the hell did this thing come from? I think Sigma was there too? Ooh, this is so exciting, guys! Forget it. Shouldn't we be trying to get out of here? Impossible. This is a confinement room. The bar is only open from the other side. Assuming that's Sigma there. Nothing to do but ask whoever did this to let us out. The mastermind's right there! That kid locked us up! So he was the one who put these on us? It... It... wasn't me. It talks! Oh, the music. Akane? About. Who are you? I'm sure you'll determine that eventually. Why are you doing this? Okay. I require all of you to take part in a game. A game? With the fate of you, me, and the human race in the balance. Fuck that! Let's get started, shall we? The style is really interesting. I kind of dig it. Red and blue. Beneath my foot, there's a coin. One side of it is red, while the other side is blue. Okay. Which side of the coin is facing up? Make a guess. However, you only get one chance. Do we get something if we get it right? Your freedom. Everyone's very emo. I promise that I will release all of you. And what if we're wrong? You won't lose. You will have to stay in the game until at least six of you are dead. What? Let's go with blue. It's red. Right, red. It's gotta be red. 50-50 <laughs> chance. And the odds for each are the same. Then we should vote! Wait! I can't believe you guys! Akane's right! You're just going to do what he says? Akane! What do you think, Carlos? You are the leader of this group. Carlos is I the leader. Take your decision as everyone's final answer. What are you talking about? I'll let Carlos choose. Pick red. It's blue. 
So what do you say, Carlos? I... No, Carlos! Don't answer him! It's... Is Sigma... It, like, is this mouth not moving? Time to choose, Carlos. You are that solitary snail. See, I thought when we saw the bottom, the it looked like... The world rests on your decision. Looked like a Kane's outfit from VLR. Are we playing as Carlos? Time to decide. Okay. What will the coin be? This, this is... This is what we're doing in this game. Okay. Cool. I like how the um, the cutscenes aren't just like stills. It's actually like it's way more cinematic. I'm digging this already. I, I thought I wouldn't like the art style. Um, but like I was telling me, I probably wouldn't like it, but I I don't mind it that much. I'm gonna go red. I mean, do I do I really know? I mean, this is just totally like random. Uh, I prefer red over blue, so I'm gonna pick red. Your choice is made. It's red. It's red. Hey! We're out. Nice. See? Didn't I say it'd be red? Yeah, yeah. Game over. Whatever. Mm. Well done, Carlos. Are you some kind of clairvoyant? It's so just that's luck. a Kane? I had a 50% chance. It's not too hard to get it right. Hey, hold on a sec. Okay, sure, you lucked out with your guess. But what if you had gotten it wrong? What is, is that, Matt Mercer? <laughs> Everything worked out fine. So, are you going to make good on our deal? Fear not. I'm a fair person. I promised to release you, and I shall. Ah, but before that, I apologize. But you must all sleep. Sleep? When next you win, you will have forgotten everything that just happened here. It's really hard to hear his voice. Why would we forget? Hmm. I wonder. Pleasant dreams. I feel like I recognize another one of the voices. One of the younger guy's voices. I know. You're... That was great! Okay, I'm super excited. Good setup. The payoff. Oh, I see, but we're all standing in front of the facility. 12-31-2028, Hey, hold on. Why are we outside? I have no clue. When I woke up, we were on the ground over there. Huh? What is it? Didn't we all have something attached to our left wrist? So they do remember. Hmm. Huh. I suppose we might have coin huh nothing i just saw an image of a coin flash in my mind it was flipped and falling ah uh, come to think of it damn i i can't remember anything me neither neither can i it somehow feels like like I made a bet with someone, but... Someone? What kind of bet? Did we all forget what happened? I like how Phi looks. I assume that's Phi. Hey, uh, could I ask all of you something? Who is this kid? I don't know. This is really okay. I'm 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 intrigued. This is very different. Oh, 
Also, apparently I don't have to do any voice acting. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, this is, this is supposed to be like game over credits. <laughs> This game's just gonna fuck with us the whole time, isn't it? Or is this like intro credits? I don't, I don't know. Um, so one one thing that was kind of interesting was that um, uh, it was Klim. Was that the was that the like robotic version? Or sorry, the clone version of Sigma. His name was Klim, right? He was voiced by. Um, by, uh, oh, it is Matt Mercer. Yeah, he's voiced by the guy that Matt Mercer sounds like. I can, I can never remember his freaking name. Uh, so they got Matt Mercer to do Sigma in this. So I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's Klim and not Sigma in this one. Oh, what's the guy's name? It doesn't matter. Someone will let me know in the comment section. That's the kind of thing you can let me know in the comment section. As long as it doesn't spoil anything. This is playing. Troy Baker. Oh, did he do Sigma also? Wait. But I don't, did Sigma even ever have a voice? I mean, Sigma was voiced by me. I think they're talking about Klim on this website. Yeah, Troy Baker. So Troy Baker, uh, Matt Mercer like started his career as, for those of you that don't know who Matt Mercer is, started his career as kind of like the discount Troy Baker. <laughs> And uh, of course, since then, he's become, uh, he's the DM for Critical Role, which has become a huge success, and which I enjoy watching it, which I enjoy watching. So um, it's interesting, that dynamic. So since they got Matt Mercer to do Sigma, and he's usually hired to be like the replacement for Troy Baker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using a little meta analysis here to uh, to to guess that Sigma is actually Klim, but we'll see. Presumably, this is the um, this is Phi and Sigma going back to stop the pandemic, right? Uh, that's what we're, that's what we're playing through, which is cool. I like that it's um, a little bit more of a direct continuation, I guess, whereas VLR kind of felt like. It's like a reimagining, I guess, of 999. Like, I mean, obviously, there's like characters that continue through, but um, felt more like um, like a like a different set of stakes, almost. Like the, the 999 was more of a personal story, and then VLR, although personal, you've got this like world saving uh, motivation behind it, right? And now we're gonna end that that arc, so it's like. Yes, it continues some of the stories from the from 999, but like a lot of it was different. And then this is like literally going to continue directly from. You could say like almost where um, Virtue's Last Reward left off. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for joining me uh, for the game. Uh, I thought it would be a little bit longer, but uh, I guess not. Well, you know, it took me two like almost three years to beat VLR, and it's only taken me about 15 minutes to beat this. So. Impressive. I've gotten better at games. Beginning of the end. CQD end one. Is it because I picked? <laughs> is it because I picked red? 
did I actually like pick correctly? Or is the first one always like that, regardless of what you pick? This game's really gonna mess with us, isn't it? Now it is time to choose whose fate you will follow first. Select a team to continue the story. Select the team to advance story. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not going to look at the flow yet. I kind of, the way I approached 999 in VLR, I think when I started 999, I had no idea how it worked. But then once I understood uh, with VLR, I just kind of played until I got to an end and then went like a different, down a different path. And then like once I did that a couple times, then I started looking at the flow to see like what I want to do next. Because I kind of like the idea of just following my instincts. Uh, so do I s select someone? Each image you see here is a story fragment. Only one is available to you now, but more will unlock as the story unfolds. Select any unlocked fragment to continue the story. When you find you are unsure how to control something in the game, click question mark in the top right to open the control guide. You can also press back on the controller or F1. F11, I guess, on the keyboard. Um, I, I considered using mouse and keyboard the entire time with this, but I, I was using controller in 999 and uh, VLR, so it kind of feels right to play this with the controller. Also, all the prompts are controller. Oh, interesting. I guess we'll just... Uh, I guess we'll just start with this guy. Heads or tails? Coin toss win. Huh. Fragment flowchart. Okay, let's pick uh, blue then. Time to choose, Carlos. You are that solitary snail. The fate of the world rests on your decision. Blue! It's blue. So it doesn't, okay. So I just happened to pick the right one, I guess? That's I'm curious. Uh. Carlos, you asshole! You got it wrong! Carlos. What were you thinking? Hey, wait a second. Carlos isn't the one to be blamed for all this. Right. The person who started it is. So? Sweet now? scepter. You should know already. Of course they have to have the bikini wrong. lady. So the game continues. Until six people are dead, huh? At least six. It's possible there may be more than that. Kid doesn't seem to care. Why don't we hurry and get this over with then? Before you begin... His voice. To go to Wait, is that Junpei? When next you wake, you will have forgotten everything that just happened here. Forget? But why? There's no point in telling you now. You won't remember anything in a moment. She's got that the pin again. Fi. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was Junpei, or at least it's the voice of Junpei. But I thought Junpei had, like, brown hair. I, I guess he could have just dyed it. And I don't know Bikini Girl. Kid. I don't know who the kid could be. I love all the guessing. Isn't it so much fun? Oh. I'm looking forward to AI also, because that's probably going to be crazy. Oh, here we go. This is the actual intro. <laughs> we, we watched the end before the intro. <laughs> of course. Only, only Zero Time Dilemma, right? Or only uh, Zero Escape. 
I don't want to watch this. I'm not even going to look at this stuff because it's just going to spoil. I highly recommend you don't watch this if you're blind. Um, because it's just, I don't know why they do this in Japanese games in particular. They show you like clips from what's going to happen in the story before you even play it. <sighs> okay, there. I didn't watch it. This music, it feels Carlos, like home, even though it's Carlos. so freaky. Akane. Bastard, what the hell's going on? You brought all of us here. No, it's not me. Then what the fuck is that stupid thing on your head? Let it go, Eric. No need to take it all out on the kid. Eric. Mira. I wonder what this is. Eric and Mira. Uh, give it up, Diana. It's better that you don't force it off. I like that we have a Kanye back. Why do you back. say that? I like your voice. You should listen to her. I get the feeling she's seen it before. Bracelet. Interesting. That's what it was called a year ago. Right, Akane? Junpei. Yes! Junpei! Good morning. How are you feeling? Who's this? I am Zero. The second Zero. The second? Let me make one thing clear. This is a recording. So don't bother asking questions as I cannot answer them. I'd like to tell you an old story. Seventeen years ago, on a rainy morning, a woman went jogging in a large park. Her usual route led her to a fork in the road. Normally she'd run down the right path, but for some reason, this day, she chose the left. Along the way, she bumped into a senior citizen she saw every day. Surprised to see her, they asked, Why did you come this way today? This was her reply. Because there was a snail. Her body was discovered a few hours later. Murdered. They found her in some bushes along the left path. Sometimes, life is simply unfair. You mentioned something about a snail deciding think? our fate. What the hell is all this nonsense? It's the same for all of you. The pull of an unjust fate carried you along to this moment. Only to find yourselves in this bomb shelter, 50 meters below ground. Wait, what? So we're in a bomb shelter. Oh, I see, see different this words. This place is divided into three sections. Carlos, Akane, and Junpei, you three are in Ward C. You will henceforth be referred to as C Team. Your leader shall be Carlos. Carlos Team. Next is Q, Mira, and Eric. You are located in Ward Q. Your name will be Q Team. As evidenced by the name, the leader is Q. <laughs> okay. Hey, Q. wait! Is this a joke? And finally, Diana, Phi, and Sigma. Yeah, okay. Ward D is where the three of you are. Diana is the leader. That makes you the D Team. You may wander as you like. As long as you remain within your respective wards. Wait a second. There is a time limit, however. 90 minutes. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. An anesthetic and an agent to erase your memories will be administered. Erase your memories. Memory erasing drugs? As a result, Metal you'll gear? fall into a deep, uninterrupted sleep. But you will also forget everything that occurred in those past 90 minutes. What? The bracelet has an additional function. A watch. Pressing the buttons on each side simultaneously will display the time. So, I'm a bit confused. I thought the mm. character that was well, Akane... Ten. Today is actually is Diana? First, New Year's Eve. The year turns over in less than half a day. Unfortunately, very few of you will find yourselves able to welcome a new 2029. 2029? Take a look at the door. It's clearly marked with an X. Beyond this X door is a hallway with an elevator. 
Riding the elevator up will take you above ground. There's no other way out. The door is easy enough to open. Simply obtain the X passes and enter them into the input device beside it. Okay. Six X passes are needed for it to unlock. One X pass will be announced every time someone dies. Great. In blunter terms, if six of you die, the rest will gain all of the passwords and will be able to open the X door. <laughs> this is bullshit. One caveat. The door remains open for only 30 seconds. Once that passes, it will automatically close. And never open again. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Oh yes. With this information, surely some of you at this point are thinking, How can I kill six people? Well, it's pretty what? easy. No one would... I'll give you one opportunity. By majority vote, determine one team to execute. What? Do you see the computer in the corner of the room? The team names of your newfound enemies will be displayed on that monitor. Choose the team you've decided to eliminate. Each team gets one vote. The leader must submit it for the group. Your deadline is 13.30. Any team that hasn't voted before the time limit is up shall be penalized two votes. The group of two or more votes will lose. Every number of that team will be executed. So that's that wasn't a con name. Sorry, I'm gonna the decision game. The decision the game. game. <laughs> the lives of you. Human race hang in the balance. It's interesting going into this, like actually kind of knowing what the and what we're trying to accomplish, I guess, to a certain degree. Um, I'm gonna get characters confused, all right. Uh, while I'm getting used to this, it's like the team. Okay, let's save it, I guess. It's more like, um, I feel like I'm just watching something rather than playing so much. I guess everything's voice acted, so I don't have to. I don't have to really read and uh, and do acting like I did with the previous games. It's interesting. Do we just keep going with the C team? New. I guess I'll just. I guess I'll just keep rolling with the C team and see how it goes. Fragment flowchart. Okay, let's go back here. So we've unlocked all of this fragment. And now we're going with this. Can I actually just... Okay, you have to start at the beginning. So this is Carlos Junpei and Akane? The person who I thought was Akane, I don't think was. Execution C. Ooh, this is the 999 music. Prep room. Love it. Decontamination room. And control. Yeah, I guess we're going to be doing some puzzles now. Power room. This, so this is the whole uh, the infirmary. This is the whole C facility. Pantry. So this is the last room. Yes. The record. We checked everywhere we could. Map of Ward C stored in file. It's just as Zero said, huh? There's no way to get out, except by opening the X door. 50 minutes left until the vote deadline. Don't tell me you want to vote. How can we not? If we refuse, C team gets two votes automatically. We'll die. But. Hey, do you think this could be part of the experiment? DCOM's whole psychological test? Nope. What? Why? That mask guy called himself Zero. I have no clue why he's here, but he's for real. So that means he's actually willing to kill off a whole team? 
Yeah. But how? He said that there's an anesthetic in our bracelets, right? So we'll be sleeping and then bam. DCOM's Maybe. experiment? There's a bunch of different ways. If only there was a way to contact someone on the other teams. Why would you need to reach them? What, you're planning on begging them not to vote C-Team or something? Well, no, but I thought, why not spread out the votes? What do you mean? Remember what Zero said? The group with two or more votes will lose. I get it. Maybe C-Team could vote for D-Team, D-Team for Q-Team, and Q-Team for C-Team. Then all the teams would have one vote each. And that'd make it a three-way tie. A and no one would have to die? I How do rhymed. we make sure they know to do it? We're for genetic field! No. Hey! Mira! Eric! Diana! Hi! Sigma! Can you hear us? Pretty thick door. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, it's not working. I think it's gonna work. Damn it. Hey, Akane, uh, why don't you try using the morphogenetic field? Huh? Morphogenetic field? Oh, there's a... something written on the wall. Let the game end where I treat too. What's this supposed to mean? The game will end, and something about two people? I guess the tough part is figuring out treat. If it's like trick or treat, then maybe it means there's a reward or a gift or something. But it could also mean treatment, which would imply being cared for. Okay. Either way, it doesn't make sense. Been hey, infirmary, uh, right? Anyone know what this thing could be? Treat two. A box. What's inside of it? Maybe some kind of a white smoke. A tomate baco? You've heard of it, Carlos? Urashima Taro, right? Japanese folklore. Something about jumping through time, I think. This label says force quit box. What's like that? A suicide Looks box? Looks like there's a keyboard. There's probably a password that goes there. Then something ends if you punch it in? But what though? Maybe the game Zero's making us play. Wait, wait. You really think Zero'd put something that easy here? It seems like it wouldn't even have to be a box for that. Didn't think it'd work. Just pressing random buttons isn't going to solve anything. It's harder for me to comment on things when I'm not reading stuff out. Um, that music is really annoying. It's got like this popping sound. It sounds like uh, there's a glitch. <laughs> oh, what now? What can we do? Maybe we should just get this voting business over with. Junpei. No, we still have some time. Come on, man. You're supposed to be the leader here. Please, Junpei, we all know you're the leader. How the hell did we get into this mess anyway? Do you guys have any ideas? Choice, what to ask? Who is Zero? What is Zero's purpose? What is your relationship? So we're Carlos, I guess, eh? Uh, well, we know this. So we're not gonna ask that. Um, let's try who is zero. Who is zero? Uh, to be accurate, you should probably ask who is the second zero instead. Then that means there has to have been a first one, right? Yeah, there is. You know him? Sorta. I brought it up earlier. A bracelet a lot like this one has been strapped to my wrist before. It happened last year. Akani and I were trapped somewhere. The person responsible back then was named Zero. But I don't think that one has anything to do with this one. It's gotta be connected. Just please. Believe me. She's right. What is Zero's purpose? Why is Zero doing this? To make us play a game, right? This decision game or whatever. With the fate of mankind on the line. So it's true. Do you know something, Akane? I think if we end up losing this game, 
We're all going to die. Six billion people will. So what Sigma said back then up in DCOM was... At this rate, six billion people will die. Yes. What Sigma said is the truth. Have you ever heard of the term Reverie Syndrome? What causes it is unknown. Neither the nerves nor the brain have abnormalities. It's radical six. But somehow, this disease causes you to stop reacting to a variety of stimuli. I've heard there are people from all over the world who have become affected by this. Hey, hold up. How does this and what we were talking about before go together? Shouldn't you know already? Huh? A crisis. Mankind is currently facing what is clearly an unprecedented crisis. Those affected are sensing it's coming. Reverie Syndrome. You've heard of it? Yeah, kinda. Huh. Oh, I guess we just end up asking everything. I wonder if it matters what order we ask it in. Probably not. Akane. Kurashiki. Junpei Tenmyoji. Hey! You're both Japanese, right? Yes. And you both lived in Japan when you were kids. You even went to the same school. So you're childhood friends. Who told you that? Yeah, how did how does he know that? Oh. He mentioned it back in DCOM. We all lived in close quarters in that facility for five days. Oh. Information spreads fast. So, whose idea was it for you to join? Huh? The DCOM experiment. So what exactly is this experiment? You two signed up together, right? No, we didn't. We did this on our own. Wait, you're telling me you guys just happened to bump into each other at DCOM? It wasn't a coincidence. It was inevitable. Why did you subject yourself to this circus? I didn't mention it before. I... Well, I kind of really need a lot of cash. They said they'd give us 500,000 if we joined up. Jeez. Huh. Color me surprised. That's a lot, lot of cash. Hero of Justice had no need of money. Hero what? of Justice? Didn't you say you're a firefighter? Oh. A really good one? You faced off against danger and saved a whole bunch of people. Sounds like a hero to me. Is that a ringmaster? I just have good instincts. It doesn't seem to matter where I find myself. They're pretty good at telling me which path is death at the end. Thirteen oh seven. Do you hear something? Over there. Oh, where did you come from? It's a little puppy. Looks like you made it here using this vent. Does that mean it's connected to the surface? Hmm, I don't think so. A vent to the surface would defeat the purpose of a bomb shelter. So he came from another ward then. It's too dark, I can't see anything. Send a message then? But ward Q is down that direction, right? Think you can fit in there, Akane? Uh, no, there's no way. Someone likes cake too much. Wow, oh, Junpei. I know. Let's Who cut doesn't off like Junpei's cake? arm. <laughs> he should be able to fit through then. <laughs> hey, Mira. Nice on Akane. Eric! <laughs> Send no the answer, puppy with a huh? message. Hey, Aw, yeah. you can pet the dog. Did they steal you away from DCOM too? But why the dog? Maybe they felt bad about leaving him alone up there? Baloney. You really think Zero do us any favors? Hold on. I think I got an idea that may work. This here, this case. It holds medication, doesn't it? Uh-huh. It's empty. Did that bastard Zero take the meds? I still think this could work. We can use it. Wait a sec. Beer coaster and a pen. I found them on the counter of the bar. There's something written on it. Oh, uh, I did that. 
Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. Oh! You're going to put it in the case and have Gab go through the vent. Cross your fingers he can get to Q team. You really think it'll be that simple? So we shouldn't? Well, I guess we don't have anything to lose. Why don't we give it a shot? This is a really cool movie. <laughs> I haven't barely done anything. What did you throw? <laughs> Cheese. Picked it up with the coaster. It was over there on the counter. Why don't we just toss in some ketchup and pickles too? Maybe Burger. next time he comes back, he'll be a hot dog. Was a joke. <laughs> Carlos, <laughs> just not moving at all. <laughs> at least it wasn't a Five cat pun. Left. Uh, Gab's not come back. Let's just vote, Carlos. Like I said, if we forfeit, I know. Hey, there's one thing we can do. What is it? You remember what you wrote on the Gab letter. Uh, the what? The message we sent the furry pigeon to deliver. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. Yeah. So what? So vote for Q team instead. What? Junpei, you can't be suggesting. If we do that, they'll end up with two votes and. Yep, Q team will be out. Granted, this whole thing is assuming our initial plan works. The note makes it to D team, and Diana votes the way we want her to. Think about it for a second. Six people have to die, or we're never getting out of this bomb shelter. Those are the rules of the decision game, according to Zero. Balancing the votes won't do us any good. We'll just end up falsely prolonging someone's death. Junpei. Hmm. Junpei's brutal. Come on, Carlos. Vote for Q-Team. No, you can't! Okay. Um, so what Junpei is saying is we can guarantee the Q-Team will be eliminated because we're assuming that they read the note. So we're going to go with the good guy decision on the first one, right? Because usually I go with the bad guy decision. Let's go D team. So this should prolong the game if they read the note, but like how, who knows if they- Your vote has been accepted. The next team oh, got the message too. I was worried you weren't going to do it, Carlos. You'll see, Akane. Just because we did what we said we would, doesn't mean this will work. Hell, we don't even know if our note reached the other teams or not. And even if it did, there's no guarantee they did what we asked. Two possibilities will come out of this. The three members of D-Team will die. Or it's our heads on the chopping block. 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well as the next game will begin when you win. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. More puppies! The drug will not be injected into the three of you. Oh! When you next wake, those who survived will be able to regret the decision. Oh, that's nice. And all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. So basically, so if we had voted so that to save everyone, no one would remember. So we could have been doing this for a while already. Okay. So then we can select the other path we want to. Oh, that's interesting. So now I could go do this and I decide what they vote.
right? I guess that's how it works. So we get to decide who the other teams vote for. Hmm. So how am I going to play this out? Let's do one. Let's do one more. Let's go with the Q team. Actually. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the D team. Let's see what happens. When a curious hate oozes calamity. Hmm. So, a moment when hate becomes calamity, huh? I wanted to do D team because we means. we know people on this team. Maybe it's not supposed to have a meaning, huh? It's an anagram. You reorganize the letters into another sentence. Why do you think it's an anagram? I've seen something like this before. In she, another place. She remembers VLR. Anyway, where's Sigma? But Sigma didn't seem to remember. But he would What are you looking at? Oh yeah. A box. Like this remix. What kind of box? Well I'm looking into it because I don't know. That could be because it's Clem, right? Looks like something's written on it. Same thing. Force quit box. Hmm. That's interesting. I Let's see, see if we get the note. Too. Use this keyboard to input a password and force something to stop. Is that what this means? What does it stop? Well, the obvious answer would be the game Zero is making us play. Then we should try it. I shouldn't have thought it would be that easy. We wonder what she hit. put in. Maybe it says something on the underside. Nope. Won't budge. A heavy box. Is it heavy? heavy Sounded like even it. Begin to cover it. I doubt it's made out of anything from Earth. Well, you are getting up there, Sigma. Okay. What do you say? My body still got it. I'll just give it a try. How does he know it's, the, it's not something from you, Earth? You weren't lying. <laughs> See, I told you. Can't be from Earth. This is the map for Ward D, right? Looks like it. Map of Ward D stored in file. And we can go wherever we want so long as it's within this ward? Yes, that's what Zero said. So we're going to get a chance to see the board. The prep room. Decontamination room. The same thing. The healing room. Relaxation room. The transporter room. Okay. Manufacturing. Trash disposal room. All right. Locker room. We've checked all the rooms from top to bottom, but you didn't find any exits. Obviously, we are in a bomb shelter after all. If there were several exits, it'd defeat the purpose it was built for. So Zero told the truth. Then opening the X door is the only way out. Akane! Tenmyoji! There's no point. Tenmyoji, eh? hear a drunk toga party at full volume on the other side. <laughs> so they tried to contact the C team. I think we need six team. passwords to get this door to open, right? Yeah, that X-Pass thing. For every one person who dies, 
One password will be revealed. I swear I recognize Is that Diana's true, though? voice also. Sigma, why don't you try dying once? I politely but firmly refrain. What about you, Diana? Hey, uh, no. Figured. Maybe it's just an actress I'm familiar with, though. But was she one of the characters? Hmm. Can't really tell. Um, may I ask you guys something? What's up? Maybe she sounds like Luna? Kind of similar things. Who is Zero? Well, help come. Okay, the way Sigma talks. Who is Zero? Who do you think Zero is? Do you guys know who Zero is? No, I haven't the foggiest. But they called themselves Zero. At the very least, they know about what happened a year ago. What are you... There's one more thing for sure. Think about it. So sh Why was Zero's speech to us pre-recorded? There's got to be a very big reason why things can't be in real time. Because he's one of us. There are two possibilities. They've already bit the bullet. Or... Zero is among us. I have a feeling it was. it's a woman because just I detected something in Zero's voice that sounded more female. The well, help cup. Do you think someone will come help us? Like who? Maybe the decom experiment staff? Sorry, but that's pretty unlikely. Remember? The staff stationed in decom can't communicate with us right now. The simulation is attempting to stay true to an actual Mars mission. Right. Okay, it's that's six months between Earth and Mars. That's that's what that time this is period, for. Earth right. will have rotated halfway around the sun, which means by the time the spaceship reaches Mars, the Earth is behind it. With the star in the way, we can't send a signal. That's the lead up. We've been doing experiments for the past five days. Transmissions will re-establish on December 31st at 2330, which leaves us with more than 10 hours. There's no point in hoping for a rescue to come before then. Pretty sure the DCOM staff won't notice any problems until that time. <laughs> you guys are like siblings. You're totally in sync. Eh, we know each other pretty well. What to ask? The way Sigma talks. It's not really a question, is it? This may be somewhat rude of me to say, but the way you talk, Sigma, is um a little unusual. I'm gonna make one adjustment uh, if I can. I guess I can. I'll have to do it after. Uh, yeah. Forgive him. I want to turn the music the down a bit. His mind and his body are completely different. Oh, he mentioned that back at DCOM. That his consciousness had come back from the year 2074. Okay. That's correct. That's why I know what will happen in the future. I must have spent the past five days warning all of you. If nothing changes, mankind will be destroyed. Kane, Fai, and I infiltrated DCOM to stop all that from happening. So Connie came with us well, to infiltrate, okay. Would you believe me if I said that it was? Then why are all of us trapped in this strange place? If you know the future, then you could have prevented it. We had no idea what events went down inside the decom facility. Nor did we know anything about what's going to happen in this shelter. Gear? She's the head nurse at the hospital where I worked. Oh right, you did say you were a nurse. Another I Luna connection. The decom experiment because Rebecca suggested it to me. She told me that they were searching for a nurse willing to participate. Well, to be honest, there is another reason why I decided to join.
Sh her eyes look kind of doggy. <laughs> Gab. Why is Gab here? Gab. I think he came through the vent. See anything? Little Gabby. No, it's too dark. So are we gonna get the message? You're up by. You want me to go in there? It's clearly impossible. You sure? I won't repeat myself. Um, my boobs are D's. Your pants are on fire. It's true. Seems to me they've gotten a full size larger than the last time you told me. It's been 45 years. Growing is natural. You were just sleeping. Um, could I interrupt? What is this? Is ah. that a coaster? Something's written on it. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. And someone else wrote. Q team, got it. Oh, neat. I get it. By spreading out the votes, they're suggesting we make it a tie. Looks like Q team agreed. Seems so. I guess Gab passed through Ward C to Ward Q and ended up here. It'll work! Now none of the teams will have to die! Hmm, I wonder about that. What? The deadline to vote is in three minutes. Damn, we don't have much time. We need to head over to the voting device. So we have to vote for Q. What exactly did you mean earlier, Fi? I'm saying it could be a lie. Do you mean that Q team is planning to betray us? No, I doubt it. That's what they intended. They didn't have to send Gab. They'd only have to decide to vote for D team. Then you mean... There's a chance that C team will betray us. Maybe they're saying they'll vote for D-Team, but actually vote for Q-Team. Why would they do that? To make us choose Q-Team. If you think it's a good idea to spread out the votes, then your choice is easy, right? I'm just saying. It's a possibility. The deadline to vote is in one minute. W what should I do? The fact that Gab showed up means that we can assume Q team's voting for C team. So we have no choice but to choose Q team. Otherwise, our single vote could cause the death of all of C team. Easy choice. C team. Make the the right the good choice first time around i think feels weird though i don't like this your vote has been accepted well that was a good choice do you think it'll be okay so long as gab's know was the truth all we could do was trust them i suppose 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the premium. When you next wake, those who survive will be able to Okay, so... As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote. So presumably, since we're spreading at the vote, and he's saying we're going to remember it, we're going to wake up and no one's going to die. Right? And we're going to remember our choices. Huh. I wonder how this is going to play out in the next round or whatever. Let's uh, save it. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to Q. And we're going to play through the same thing. Because I uh, might as well go ahead and complete this, right? In this first episode. 
I, this is this is cool. It feels a little less like it feels like too fast almost. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, did they just get rid of the puzzle solving? I, I doubt it, but maybe they did. Maybe it's just like straight up visual novel. I'm not sure. I I'm not sure. I like that quantum computer dome. I have a feeling we're going to be doing some puzzle solving. Yeah, I mean, look at that pod room for sure. <laughs> like, look, that's just like straight up a puzzle. Bio lab. This is weird. There should be another room around here somewhere. Uh, let me see it. Uh, hey, shut up. Damn. He's got the right to see it, too. So these are all different characters. Yeah. Thank you. Map of Ward Q stored in file. Sounds this, this music sounds intense. It's pretty pointless to hang out here kicking our heels. Let's go back to the lounge. Of course, this is a sexy girl. With the kid, the kid is on the sexy girls team. <laughs> what is uh, this? Let's inhibit the virus. Maybe someone's gonna remove or control some kind of virus. That kind of makes sense. Virus? What virus? That's <laughs> just three quarters of the screen the is boob. What will we do? Don't ask me. But if we don't do it, doesn't that mean we'll die? Yeah. Even if C team voted for D team and D team did the reverse, if we refuse, then we get two votes against us automatically. And Q team would be killed. I suppose that's true if this game is for real. So you're saying it's a joke? Don't you think that would make a whole lot more sense? The DCOM staff will probably pop through that door over there yelling surprise. Oh, I get it. You're right. Then him being here makes sense now. I bet that means you're part of the whole surprise. Mm, no. Come on. Take off that helmet. I can't. Huh? I said I can't take it off. Damn, brat. Stop bullshitting me! Uh, stop! Stop! I don't like You'll this guy. Break my neck. Damn! It's really on there. Wait, I see something on the side of this thing. Ah! Uh, the hell! A password. Isn't it a password input? Does that mean the helmet comes off with the right numbers? Or maybe his head'll explode. Uh. Really? Who are you? Huh. He remembers. I don't know. I don't remember. Remembers I being up in a and I was here. Hospital bed? Are you saying you have amnesia? Um maybe. Could you do up your coat? Band service. Of course not. Aside from that, Can the characters are I ask you something? dressed pretty normally. What? Uh, who is Zero? Where are we? What is your relationship? Start from the top. I was wondering, um, who is Zero? Oh, come on! Stop playing! You know everything, don't you? I told you, I don't... So you're gonna stick with the idea that this isn't some big surprise? I don't know. I don't remember anything. If this isn't a joke, then things are really serious. Then you're saying one of the teams is actually going to be executed? But why would someone do that? Zero said, it's a game. So then he's a psychopath. This Zero guy's probably off somewhere enjoying seeing us freak out. He could be that serial killer in the news. That's that heart ripper, yeah? Yeah. Red herring number one. Rumor is they killed 18 people all in the past few years. March 15th, 2026. The body of a young female was found in a park in Roseville. The victim's name was Virginia Bailey, age 28. The chest was ripped open and the heart entirely removed. 
It happened again on May 22, 2026. The body of a male was found in a trash can near a residence in Sacramento. The victim's name was Jeffrey Foray, age 37. His body was just like Virginia's, with the heart completely gouged out. Two months later, on July 29th... This is freaking hey, creepy. wait a minute. Don't you have amnesia or something? Why do you know all this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why, but I knew. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, where are we? I was wondering, where are we? Weren't you listening to Zero earlier? We're 50 meters underground in a bomb shelter. I know that, but where exactly? Uh... I doubt we're very far from DCOM. Uh, DCOM? Dwelling for the cohabitation of Mars. So, it's an experiment to see if we could survive on Mars? Uh-huh. We all lived together in that compound for five days. C-team and D-team were there too. Oh, and there was a dog. It was incredibly old. I think his name was Gab. So Q wasn't there. But not you. You weren't there. Q weren't there. It's very Q. suspicious. Oh, what were they testing for? Psychological data, mostly. It was a closed environment for a group of people for an extended period of time. So how would that mess with the subjects mentally? That was what they were trying to investigate. Oh, uh, what made you sign up? <laughs> Tough question. It seemed like it'd be kind of fun, I guess. Eric? I joined because Mira wanted to. That's it? Well, maybe not entirely. <laughs> what is your relationship? Mira? <laughs> Eric? The camera? What's going on between you two? Going on? Uh... Uh, well... Are you in love? Idiot! No, uh, we're not! We're not? Uh, well, well, we're not not, but... Wait, what? Eric, you're fucking this up! <laughs> awkward. Get a lot in here. You know, I've been trying to figure something out for a while. What is this thing? Maybe it's a gift from Zero. Uh, so what, you think there's assorted teas inside? <laughs> Gifts don't have to be a good thing, do they? Hey, what the hell? Hey. Stop! What if it's some kind of bomb? Wait, a isn't this bomb? supposed to be super heavy? Mm, I don't think it is. Oh, something's on the back. Um, I think this is upside down. So this would be the front. Force quit box? I guess it stopped something. Look, there's also a keyboard. Looks like you're supposed to input a code of some kind. And if we get it right? So... Then something will be forced to end? Either Q is really what? strong or... Maybe. This box is really light. Your life. No one else tried to pick it up. What was that so sound? It came from that way. He must be a robot. Oh, let's go! Doggo! Gab, how did you... You came through the vent. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Why don't you go in? Uh, I can't. Just do it, will you? The helmet's you? too big. <laughs> see? You didn't have this stupid thing on your head. <laughs> hey, check this out. I was hoping they would show that. There's something inside the case. Is that a coaster? Oh, there's something on it. Hello, Carlos here. C team is voting for D team. So D team should vote for Q team and Q team for C team. What does this mean? Don't you get it? They're saying to spread the votes. Huh? Spread? I get it. If each team ends up with one vote each, the whole thing is a tie and no team will be executed. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, now we have a plan. Let's do it. Um, but wait. Why should we wait? Well, 
what if this message hasn't been delivered to Dichi yet? You're right. The position of this vent does imply it only connects to Ward C. I doubt Gab's made his way to Ward D yet. We need to figure out how to notify D-Team then. Hold on a sec. I'll get a pen and cheese. There was some at the bar, <laughs> right? A pen. And cheese. And cheese. <laughs> I like how everyone has the same cheese. Like, the fuck? Oh, I thought that was they're like torturing the dog or something. That like, should do it. <laughs> What exactly are you doing? So I'm getting the impression Eric is like Dio in this. He's kind of, kind of a jackass. Oh, I get it. If Ward C and Ward Q have connected vents, then Q and D are probably connected as well. Yep. We just need to take the cheese and Aww. It's all on you, Gab. Think it'll work? I'm sure it will. Good boy, Gab. Five minutes until the deadline. I wonder if Gab made it to Ward D or not. Even if he did, who knows if Diana will vote the way it says in the note. What? You think she'll betray us? It's not outside the realm of possibility. I don't even want to consider the alternative. Which is? That the whole letter from C-Team is a trap. Trap? They could have written it, but maybe Carlos is planning to vote for Q-Team instead. Hey, wait a minute now. That's not good. At all. You said it. If I'm right, then we need Diana to do the opposite of what it says. What? But... The vote has to be decided by the leader, but... What should we do? We don't have time for a committee. Then we'll just have to use force. Uh, hey, wait! Okay. That was, uh, I found that one to be a little bit more interesting. I guess it's because we've got three characters that don't know what's going on at all. Um, it's weird to have a bunch of characters that are kind of like aware of what's happening to a certain degree. Okay, so we, if we want to continue this, then we need to vote for C team, right? So let's do it. I actually did use the notebook just so I made sure to vote for the right team. The notebook used the first notes. Your vote has been accepted. Following the note, huh? Uh, I guess it's fine. It's not like it was a bad choice. Now we wait and see what exactly Carlos and Diana do. If this plan doesn't work, then there are two outcomes that could happen. Either the three and C team die. Or we're the ones executed. No, there's one more possibility. Yeah? It's a joke. Someone is definitely tricking us. So it is you! 90 minutes have passed. Your time limit has ended. Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you are This is gonna be interesting. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. When you next wake, those who survive will be able to regret the decision they made. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the film you entered. Pleasant dreams. So presumably we've unlocked a new path for all three teams. A new path, a new moment, whatever it's called where we all survive but uh we're gonna find that out on the next episode everybody 
I always ask on the first episode of a new series to like and subscribe to the channel just because it helps spread the word about the channel. Um, and you can do that. You can subscribe by clicking on the top left image. Um, thank you guys so much. Let me know what you thought in the comment section. I'm looking forward to the next one and seeing what the results are of our decision. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now. I'll see you on the next one. And I love you all.